is 623 in Arizona right now, and I'm nice and cozy. <laughs> I'm nice and tucked into my bed. I finished Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 last night. It was so good. I feel like the first half of this this Season 3 was kind of... Um, I guess maybe because I saw some spoilers on TikTok, which I was kind of sad about, and I hate spoilers, so... I felt like the carriage scene was kind of lackluster. Everyone was so excited about that. And I was just like, meh, could have been better. You know, like, she just was panty dropping over here. And I'm like, he just ignore you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Second part was so good. And I really enjoyed Francesca's slow burn romance to John. But then, did you guys notice? Okay, Spoiler alerts, if you guys have not watched the season three yet, part two, please just like kind of scroll away now because I'm going to be talking about my thoughts. So did you guys notice when uh, she kissed John, she was kind of like taken back a little. So if you go back and watch that scene, she was taken back a little like, hmm, something's not right. And then at the end, when she meets Michaela Sterling, <gasps> She was fumbling over her words. I really was so excited to see Violet have a love interest with, um, what's his name? Lord Anderson. He is one fine. I'm really excited to see where that plays out because I would love to see Violet finally have a love interest. I mean, she's been raising these kids all by herself. And I love that her and Lady Danbury came to an agreement of like, hey, you're my friend. He's my brother. I'm good. He was my dad. He was, you're my friend. We're good. We don't need to know anything else. Let me know your thoughts on part two of season three for Bridgerton. 